let's take a journey inside the body to see what really happens during menopause. It all begins with the natural aging of the ovaries. Over time, the ovarian follicles that release eggs start to decline both in number and in quality. As these follicles diminish, the production of the key female hormones, estrogen and progesterone, begins to drop. The hypothalamus in the brain senses this decline and signals the pituitary gland to release more follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH, in an attempt to trigger the ovaries. But the aging ovaries no longer respond effectively, leading to persistently low estrogen and high FSH and LH levels, a hormonal pattern that defines menopause. This decline in estrogen sets off a chain reaction across the entire body. The thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus becomes unstable, causing sudden hot flashes and night sweats. The urogenital tissues, which depend on estrogen for elasticity and moisture, become thin and dry, resulting in discomfort and pain during intercourse. At the same time, the reduction in estrogen slows calcium absorption and accelerates bone loss, increasing the risk of osteoporosis. The heart and blood vessels are also affected, as estrogen normally helps maintain healthy cholesterol balance. Without it, LDL levels rise, raising cardiovascular risks. Finally, the brain and skin feel the impact too. Mood changes, irritability, and anxiety emerge as estrogen interacts with neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. The skin loses collagen, leading to thinning and wrinkles. So, menopause ISN. T just the end of menstruation. It's a total hormonal transition that influences nearly every system in the body. Understanding this process helps nurses and healthcare professionals guide women through this stage with empathy, support, and care.